Hey everyone, it's Michelle and I have a project for you guys today. I want to share my um, Graphic 45 Once Upon a Springtime album that I have yet to um, show and everyone's like done using this paper but um, this was done a, f a few like weeks ago, maybe like a month and a half ago. Um, so yeah, I just want to share with you guys. It turned out really, really cute. Um, it's a very simple uh, album. It's an 8x8 and I use the Graphic 45 Once Upon a Springtime uh, paper collection. Um, and so this is the cover right here. For the album I used the Maya Road um, chipboard album. And so on the front here I have the main page of the Graphic 45 paper collection and I did a lot of fussy cutting if you could see there's a lot of dimension and so they stick out. I have some Maya Road trim right here or Maya Road trim sorry. Then I also have some of this pretty flatback pearls from Carla's 001 Etsy store. Fussy cut around this image right here, a little blue flower, and then a book plate that I daubed in, what is it called, espresso, Adirondack paint dauber, um, and then fussy cut around her also. This is the Recollections um, Bobbles. Some I Am Roses flowers, some roses, uh, flowers from Carla's Etsy store also. Some Prima leaves right there and some Carla's spray. So that is the front. Really simple, yet so pretty. And on the inside of the page, I did like layout designs of my youngest daughter. And... Um, my goal for this album was to use my punches, so you'll see a lot of punching that I did around the edges of the paper. So here, it says cuddly. I have the Prima um, lace and flower trim. I etched around this paper right here with the Tim Holtz distressing, uh, Distressor. And cute flowers from Joe over at Paper Drama on YouTube. Thanks so much, Joe. These flowers are just so pretty. I love these two. They're like little bouquet flowers. And there's my little daughter sleeping. And I just um, folded the corner right there. And I used the Martha Stewart lace punch in the back. So that is that page. On the second page, I use um, the Martha Stewart punch right here. And it has a little um, epoxy sticker and it says sweet. And I have some Prima Bling. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I used um, one of my Marvy punches here in the three, uh, three inch scallop circle. And then the th two inch scallop circle, um, just plain circle, sorry. And this is a Can Company flower. The pages are really simple. Um, but I love it. And then here, I have a picture of her tiny little hands. Some Recollections flowers right there. Um, uh, epoxy sticker that says tiny. There's, um, I use the punch right here and up here. And this is another Recollections bobble. I have the Graphic 45 paper strip going along here. And some lace trim in the back. That is that page. The next page is of my husband and her, and they're just lying down together, and it says little. I have some frog feathers trim in brown here, polka dot brown. I cut out the little images from the co paper collection. I used the Tim Holtz tattered floral dye here, and I cut it in suede and in cork cork. Oh my gosh, what's wrong with me? <laughs> I cut it in um, the corrugated chipboard. And there's a little button, some I Am Roses skeleton leaves, and then some Recollections felt adhesive. And then I corner punched the picture. And the backing paper. So that's that. 
And like you can see my husband tat my husband's tattoo is of Mary holding baby Jesus. It's um a tattoo for his little baby sister. Um so that's that. Just thought I'd throw that in there. <laughs> Um, and then this is a picture of me and her. She is like a chunky girl. I am so, um, my face is so round here. I think she's two weeks old. And I have some I Am Roses, Cherry Blossoms, a really pretty flower. And then it says soft in the epoxy sticker. And then I have this Prima Bling and some frog feathers, a chiffon rosette trim. Really pretty. And some skeleton leaves right there. And I edged all the pages, actually, with some vintage photo. So that's what you can see around here. The next page is of my son holding uh, my baby Vanessa. And this is some frog feathers trim. And I punched out this little circle picture from the collection. And it's little mommy feeding her little bunnies. And then there they are, some bling here, etched around the photo, um, and I have a little tab that says deer. And that's how that page looks like. On the next page, I have, this is the last page, some I Am Roses daisy flowers right there, and a gardenia, in the small gardenia. I have a little Recollections bobble. I used the Martha Stewart punch here and a little metal tag. And this piece of paper right here, um, I had punched out and I used half of it. I used the actual like punch out in one of the other pages and I just used the like leftover paper and added it around their little heads. And there she is. And there's my other daughter trying to give her a big kiss. And it says sweet. And that is the mini album for my daughter. Um, when I make mini albums, I usually just like to embellish around the picture. I don't really make tags or pockets. But I have two albums to show you. And I did a whole bunch of tags and pockets. Just because I'm not used to it. And I had a lot of fun making it, actually. so Because I'm so lazy to make tags. And... Um, fold pockets and everything, but I love that I gave it a try, and I love that I have different styles of albums, so this one is one of my just like, you know, picture layout ones, and then I have a few to share with you guys that um, have a lot of interactive pages, and I can't wait to share that with you guys. So this is my Graphic 45 Once Upon a Springtime Baby Mini Album. I hope you guys like it, and stay tuned um, for my next albums. Thanks you guys for watching. Bye!